Hello and welcome back to the Apocalypse. My name's Formithrax, and this is episode 85 of our Let's Play tutorial for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. And in between episodes, I just stopped the car, hopped out, and picked these blueberry bushes that were nearby. So I wanted to make sure we grabbed all those. There were about eight of them right here in this local little area. So that's the only thing I did in between episodes. So you didn't miss a whole bunch other than me doing some berry picking. Alright, so let's take a look at our map, see where we're at and what else we need to accomplish. So we're right here near the town of Bedford. Uh, nothing too interesting about Bedford. A couple of houses, doctor's office. Um, I think I debated hopping in and checking the uh, doctor's office out for some medical equipment. Um, I think I'm going to pass on that though. We can come back later. There's been plenty of opportunities for places like that. We've got a lot of big cities nearby. I want to finish this scouting trip, but we've been out and about for quite a long time now, so I think it's time we get this finished up, make a decision on where we think the best place for a base will be in this local area, and then go ahead and head back home to get ready for the move. Um, so my plan right now is just to move northeast along this forest line, kind of uncover as much of this area of the map as I can up towards this ranch area. And then we'll probably have to flip a UE, come back down around this end of the town, and then back up north. Um, because north of here we've got either solid town that I don't want to drive through the middle of, or this forest line. So, that's the kind of plan. We'll just uncover this gray unmapped area, and then kind of work our way back around to the north. So, let's go ahead and, oops, actually start the vehicle up. That helps. Press down on the gas, and get moving. And look at that crowd of zombies out ahead of us. That's interesting. All tough zombies and regular zombies? Yeah, big pile of regular zombies. Huh. Well, we're going to leave them alone. I don't want to wreck our front end again. We just finished uh, scraping all the blood and entrails and bits of skull off of the front grill a short while ago. I don't need another pile of that. Uh, we've got some bodies out in the middle of nowhere. We definitely want to stop and double check. Doesn't look like these are going to be anything I'm too interested in or care about stopping for. Don't see any soldier bodies. How are we doing map-wise? Uh, we do need to angle north a bit. But everything looks like standard items. Nothing I'm going to stop for. You go get that tough zombie. Alright, there's the forest line. We're just going to kind of... Pivot north. Alright, how are we doing? So, yep. So the forest did close off right here, which we, I think we knew from the other direction. So it's all solid forest other than this one road that comes through from the north, or you got to come all the way around from the south. Alright, so good to know for future travels. That covers ev uncovers everything that I wanted to see, so we're good to go ahead and turn back around. So my choices are either come back through town, which I've not cleared any of this, so that'd probably be a really bad idea. We could get trapped in there. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and swing south and then come up north this direction. There's the mansion that we had looked at originally and that I was considering as our home base. Um, it doesn't have a pool, but it does have an internal courtyard. The center space is all open to the sky, so we can actually set up a garden right there in the middle of the uh, the mansion if we wanted to. So that's definitely a possibility. Um, there's a hospital here, but we'd have to do some pretty heavy clearing, and that would be a bit of an adventure. There's usually lots of uh, boomers and lots of acids or spitter zombies in the hospital. Um, we haven't been in one yet in this tutorial playthrough. It is a place I want to hit eventually, but um, for a home base, I'm just not so sure. The other alternative would be something like right here. This is a garage right on the outside edge of a town. It's real close to that mansion. Um, I like garages because they have the doors that you can open and close uh, with the... Uh, pulley systems, so you can open the door, pull your car in, park it, close the door for the night, and then go to sleep, and or pull your vehicle up next to your workshop tools and your uh, work uh, the, the workstations that you set up inside, and it's got a pretty big open space inside, so you can set up a really nice workshop. So I'm still liking that as a centralized location. Between these two, I think we've got some good choices. Um, 
This is the Home Improvement Superstore. Haven't been in there yet. They've usually got a lot of zombies around them as well. We got a mall up here. If the mall was more centrally located, I might have a good time clearing a mall and setting it up as our base. I really like the loading dock area of the mall. Um, it makes a pretty good area. It's got one of those roll-up doors as well. And uh, plenty of space plus access to the rest of the mall for raw materials. So, if it were a little more centrally located, I would lean towards that. But it's awful inconvenient to get anywhere over here from that mall area. Um... A ranch, not really much we would need that we would benefit from there other than the pond out back for the fresh water. Huh. So, other than that, yeah, I think I'm still going to head up this direction. Let's, let's go up this way, we'll check out Franconia, see what kind of zombie population there is, and see if we can get a peek at the setup for that garage right there and what that looks like. So, let's go ahead and just spin around here. And we'll just zoom out a little bit right there is where I'm comfortable viewing range. And we'll just head southwest. Alright, how are we doing? Pretty well. I think I can actually probably take whatever zombies might show up up this way. Let's cut through the town area here. We'll, we'll hit a few things, but I think we'll be alright. Uh, that's a pretty narrow area to run the vehicle through over there, though. That worries me a bit. We'll just... Ah, oh, I just took off my wing mirror again. <laughs> And smashed into a vehicle. So that went a lot worse than I was hoping. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't a good move. Hopefully I didn't do too much damage to the vehicle. Ripped off the wing mirror on the side of the building yet again, but that's normal. I constantly do that. Hey look, wing mirrors. <laughs> Replacement mirrors. Guarded by a zombear. One thing I'm worried about is I think I clipped the side of that vehicle as we were driving through, so I'm worried I did damage to our armor and front end. Alright, I'm just going to keep moving. How we doing? Alright, not too bad. So north and then a little bit west. All right, so the garage is going to be on this western side. Looks like there's an ambulance out front. So I'm going to bring the car to a stop right here. I'll actually move it up to speed 10 just to do a turn here real quick to get straightened out. All right, now it's set up in the direction I want to go when I leave. So we're going to stop driving. I'm going to hop out and kill some stuff before that gets here to mess up my car. What do we got coming at us? A Rottweiler. Shouldn't be a problem. All right. So, so far, we haven't drawn much attention. Giant fly, crack, and a fat zombie, none of which are any kind of a problem. A little shotgun I don't care about, but we'll unload the two ammo. Alright, so, what are we looking at here in Franconia? We've got the garage right where we're at, a house across the street, a restaurant, another house, radio station... That's pretty much it. A couple of restaurants, a radio station. Well, there's a vet clinic just north of the garage as well. I think I'll check out the garage and the vet clinic and the rest I don't really care all that much about. We might look at the houses for a potential uh, basement later, but for now, 
Let's go ahead and check this. Don't need an inhaler. And we'll take the codeine. Nothing else. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Luxury RV sitting here. Oh my goodness. And we got a nice uh, vehicle sitting in the driveway of this house. So it's actually not looking like too bad a place. Let's, uh, I'll check the RV out in a sec. Let's just open one of these up. I uh, hope they're not bashing through the RV. Oh no, it's a crack coming at us through the stupid vehicle here. I guess we'll look at the vehicle while we're here. Alright, it's got wheels, it's got a battery, it's got diesel fuel, it's got tanks, um, diesel engine's listing is faulty. If we pick one of these commands, mend I think, faulty glow plugs help when, st help when starting an engine in low ambient temperatures. I think that means that we should actually be able to start this, so the fault isn't too bad. It's not in one of the core systems, as far as I know. But I think this might be a functioning luxury RV just sitting right here. It's got controls, and it's got the seat. Got the battery, the engine, the alternator's all in good shape. Yeah, this looks like a fully functioning luxury RV. Just sitting right outside the place I was thinking of making a base. That's pretty amazing. Got the mini fridge and the kitchen unit. So, huh. I'm pretty amused by that. Uh, what condition are the solar panels in? Should be pretty good because it's got full charge. So, these spaces. So, damaged, completely gone. Damaged lightly and still good condition. So only one of the solar panels is in perfect condition. Two of them lightly damaged and one heavily, but uh, yeah, that's awesome. I'm really happy to see that sitting right there. That may simplify things quite a bit. And a pickup truck also has gas, a battery, has wheels, has the seat controls. And again, it's got the faulty engine. This time it says... So what I'm doing, I don't think I've mentioned this before, and I had forgotten about this in previous videos, but when you get this faulty indicator, there's an option here that says mend. So when you hit that, it's showing over here, faulty air filter. An expired air filter reduces fuel efficiency and, and increases smoke production. So that's the effect that the faulty nature is going to cause. So again, this looks like one that I believe would be able to start up. It's just going to have uh, worse gas fuel efficiency, and it's going to increase the smoke output. Um, but other than that, I believe it'll be fine. So there are different types of faults that can occur. Some are worse than others. Alright, so let's take a look in the trunk. What do you got? Plastic jerry can of gasoline. This just gets better and better. Ooh, electrician zombie. He may take my spear away from me. I have a back... What, what do I have a backup? I got my halligan tool, which he also might take from me. Um, and I've got my pistols. We should be okay, but I'm going to see if he'll zap my buddy before he zaps me. Yep, he took my buddy's weapon. <laughs> the fork spear, he grabbed it. It's been a while since I fought one of those. They can grab metal objects, so he pulled the fork spear right out of my friend's hand. So i got to pick that up and hand it back to him. We'll grab the copper wire, too. Uh, tool belt, hard hat, steel toed boots. I'll smash them up. Talk to our buddy here. Talk. Um, use this item. Fork spear. Alright, I'll have to keep an eye on that. His is getting pretty damaged. I probably should make him a uh, steel spear like I'm using. But we'll do all that when we get back to our base. So, back to what I was looking at. Plastic jerry can of gas. We're going to grab that. And I'm going to just stow it here. 
Yeah, I'm just going to stow it here in the storeboard. Stow board. So we'll drop it here. Like so. And you can see there that it put the jerry can of gasoline in the luxury RV stow board. Alright. Huh. I'm just all sorts of tickled that there's a fully functioning luxury RV sitting right outside the place I was thinking of making a base. Alright, um, big pile of work pants and clothes, tool belt, earplugs, none of these things I need terribly right now. That'd be a great find for somebody super early. Uh-oh, what do we got? We got the engine crane, so the light foldable frame, the telescopic crane, and the 4-inch casters. So it's a working engine crane. Hacksaw. And a motorbike wheel. Alright. But, so you can see the advantage. You've got two bay doors, so you could pull your travel vehicle into one of the bays. Depending on the size of the vehicle, I guess you'd want to use one or the other. And then uh, you've got a pretty good amount of space that you can use for storage, for setting up an internal workshop. you got windows if you need to. They don't have cl uh, curtains, but that's not a big deal at this point on a static generation world. Um, normally I would just board these up or go full-on build a full wall there. Because usually I've got internal power that I can use, um, and or I'll just open a door if I want. But you got a nice big open area that you can build a workshop out into, and you've got a bay that you can open up and just drive your vehicle right in. So um, it's one reason I kind of like garages. So nothing else in there to look at, though. Let's go ahead and just finish looking at the house here. Oh, it's got a safe, really. Sure. We'll let some time pass while we do the safe. It's gonna get dark here pretty quick. Safe opens and has. Wow! I'm glad I stopped. Two first aid kits, five antiparasitic drugs, some medical tape, and a syringe. That was definitely worth the time. Alright. How come it did it the other time, but now it won't do it? Uh, fine. I have no lighters, so activate Halligan Bar. Oh. Alright, fine. Apply. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, this is the vet clinic. That's why that safe had all the stuff in it. <laughs> I thought this was just a house. I forgot it's the vet clinic. Uh, whoops. We'll go ahead and grab that meat jerky. Uh, activate Halligan again. Scalpel we don't need. Nothing there. Don't care. Don't care. I think we've already got that. Yeah, it's already been evaluated, so we've got it somewhere already. Is that a Pokeball? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nope, it's a pet carrier. Birdhouse Monthly, Bon Appetit, and Through the Lens. Do I have that yet? Yeah, I do. Alright, we either have or don't need any of that stuff. Alright, so I'm not seeing anything out here other than a giant wasp, apparently. Everything there is fine. A couple of vehicles been smushed together. A uh, vehicle up here that's been wrecked and has stuff in it. Turn out trousers. Can't remember. One of my characters lost his turnout gear. Which one? Uh, leg holster, ammo pouch. I've got cargo pants on, so it must have been this one. So great. They don't fit, so let me keep looking. Maybe the other spots have better. Turnout trousers, turnout boots, flame resistant gloves. More turnout trousers and a firefighter belt, but none of it actually fits me. Alright, so, would have been nice, but none of the gear fits. I'm going to hold off on using any of it. Let's come back south. So, we have finished looking at that. I don't care about any of these. Don't care about that. We're just going to head back to our vehicle. I am excited about this RV, though. I'm tickled pink that this thing is sitting here. Get out of the way. Get items. Fast noodles. Alright. I think it said it had uh, clean water on board too, so yeah, it's got a few liters of clean water, so we'll go ahead and have a drink. Sure. Yep, 
and pillow in the bed. All right. Yeah, this is awesome to have this sitting here. Okay, back down this way we go. So, check the time frame. Uh, we've got a little bit longer. Let's take a look at a few things. So, I'm really happy about that find. So, we've got a garage with an RV sitting right out in front of it. Um, I'm really undecided between using the garage or taking over the mansion. I like the convenience of the garage because it's right on the edge of the town. It's kind of out in an open area. We can move whatever vehicles are out front to get them out of the way or disassemble them if we have to. Um, that makes it quick to get in and out. Whereas if we pick a place like the mansion, depending on where we put our workshop, it can be a little inconvenient to move around and to kind of get in and out really quickly into our vehicles. Just depends a bit on how we build in the mansion area. Um, hmm. But I do like the central location. I mean, it gives us pretty quick access to north areas easy along the roads. We can get to Plainsville simply. I know we can get through here to get down to this area. Obviously, we've got Dartmouth. We have to go around about a bit until we clear this area out, this corridor. Once we do an initial clear of this corridor, we'll be able to drive through on the road to get up to the mall area and anything out this direction. So, I think that seems like the best thing to do. Let's drive over to the mansion real quick, do one final double check there, and then we're going to head home. So, I, I'm pretty well decided it's going to be either the garage or the mansion. So you've now seen the area in the garage and you've got an idea of how it might work for a base. Let's head over to the mansion real quick. We'll do a quick scout. Uh, I believe we've cleared it. If not, that's fine. We'll just jump out and take a look around real fast. But that'll give you a look at both possible locations. And if you have your own opinions on what you think would be best or even if you think somewhere else would be better, let me know in the comments. And uh, that way when we head back down this direction, we'll know where we're heading. Oh, pop whoops, let's take care of this guy. Oh, got my halogen bar wielded. That's fine, let's beat him to death with the halogen bar. Small fire extinguisher. Turn out coat, turn out trousers, but the trousers don't fit, so yeah, I don't care. We'll leave that there. Close close. Start up the car, and get moving. Alright, right over here is the mansion. Just going to park right here. Alright, so if we hop out, oops, let's uh, activate our belt. Put our halogen bar away and wield our spear again. All right, so if I remember right, we've got the mansion cleared. So I'm just going to kind of fast move around it here. So a whole bunch of living rooms, or dining rooms, I mean, some standard uh, bedrooms and such. There's the front entrance way over here on this corner. But you can see this is that internal courtyard that I was talking about. We can turn this into a farming area. We can till the soil and plant seeds. So all those blueberry seeds that I got from the blueberry bushes, we can plant in here and any other seeds we come up with. Um, for convenience's, convenience sake, we'd want to probably put the workshop like right here on this corner. But it depends a bit on kind of the room configuration. So we've got a kitchen area in here. On this very bottom corner, we've got a big dining room, hallway, and then another big dining room. That would make for a million windows to board up, but I keep forgetting I'm on a static game world. Um, how you deal with things is going to vary depending on how you have your game world set up. With static zombies, once I clear this area, it's pretty much going to stay clear. So I don't have to worry too much about things wandering in. So it's not critically important that I board up or wall up all of these windows. Um, 
I'm used to playing on the Wander Spawn world where you got to worry a lot more about stuff generating nearby. You can't rely on clearing an area. Um, so I'm having to adjust my thinking here on what might be best to do. Plus, do we want to have a bedroom already built like that one? Or do we want to rely on an area we build up ourselves? So there's a bedroom here. What's in this northern area? Um, not too bad a dining room size, I guess. Trophy room. Let's get into the back side of the building where I'm not all that interested. Um, well, I think you've seen enough of the dining room, or enough of the mansion area that you get an idea of what possibilities could be done. We can knock walls out and build entrances and things like that, so I'm not too concerned about where this front entrance is. The only interesting feature of the mansion really is that interior courtyard, but, I mean, we could plant right outside just as easily, so I don't want to put too much emphasis on that. I'm actually leaning towards the garage over here. Um, I think it would be faster and easier to get, for us to get into and out of. It's already got the pre-built doors that we can roll up and down so I don't have to mess with knocking down walls and stuff that could collapse the building. Um, so that's what I'm leaning towards is actually getting set up in the garage here. We'll clear the town and then set up in the garage. And we've got enough buildings nearby for raw materials and such that we can uh, tear those apart for building supplies. But let me know what you think. Um, I think I'll call the episode to a close right here. We'll hop out to our vehicle real quick. And let me know your opinions on the best place you think would be to set up a base. If it's the same as my ideas or totally different. If you have your own preferable base that you like to set up, let me know. And I'd be happy to consider it. Um, if it's in a hospital or the mall or whatever you think might be fun. Um, with this tutorial set up, I'm good for whatever. Um, we can set up in a different type of a place if you'd like to see some interesting things. Um, just let me know in the comments or in the Discord channel. I've got linked at the bottom in the description area. I've also got links to all my other social media sites. It would help me greatly if you would take just a few minutes of your time to visit those, like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, so I can start to build up a little bit more of a presence on the various platforms. And that's a good way to show your support um, beyond donating via the Patreon or any of the other methods. Um, but I hope to see you in the next episode and have a great day.